Welcome to Smart Sense, your energy consumption yesterday, Thursday, 22nd of February 2018, was 30,000 units, and the cost of power was 210,000 rupees. Would you like to know more about ways to optimize this? You can choose opportunities from Enterprise or Asset Insights. Can you open Asset Insights, please? Would you like to know about opportunities in transformers, chillers or motors? Open Motor Insights. As of today, Friday, 23rd of February, 2018, you have two open events on your Motor Insight. The Cooling Tower Fan Motor 2 has a high probability of mechanical failure, which has resulted 5% excessive consumption. The blower motor number 4 has been overloaded since the last 7 days, thus increasing probability of damage. I would recommend immediate action on these points. Please log into the SmartSense portal or mobile app to know more. Thanks, SmartSense. You are welcome. Have a great day creating a world where every watt counts. Good evening, everyone. What you just saw is our product SmartSense in action at one of the largest industrial facilities in Ahmedabad. While I was chatting with Alexa, millions of data points from hundreds of machines were wirelessly sent to the SmartSense cloud. The data once residing on the cloud were used by AI algorithms to convert into actionable recommendations to improve the productivity. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Internet of Things, as we popularly know also as IoT. This is the future, and at Equilibrium, we're trying to create it today. How many times have we faced massive production losses because that small but critical motor failed? How many times have we uh, had to climb three or four flights of stairs because that lift stopped working? Now, what if I tell you that we can predict 15 days in advance before that motor or the lift stopped working? Our friends in Fiat's uh, automobile plant in Pune were facing similar issues. They had stacks of Excel sheet data lying with them, but they weren't able to convert that data into actionable insights to reduce their equipment downtime. That's when we implemented SmartSense in their factory. And we used our A3 approach, which is acquire, analyze, and act. By following this approach, we created a digital twin of the critical equipment which would identify anomalies in their certain critical equipment to bring out specific insights to reduce the downtime. Timely action helped them save nearly 5% of energy costs and crores in maintenance and production improvement. SmartSense has the potential to reduce unplanned downtime by 70%, maintenance cost by 30%, and energy cost by nearly 10%. If SmartSense is deployed all across India on a large scale, we have the potential to save nearly 26 million units of power by 2023. This means 3 lakh motors and cars taken off the roads from India. Well, I get asked one question quite often. How did you start a technology company when you belong to a family of jewelers? Well, the idea of Equilibrium was born around 8 years back. But uh, the real seed was sown nearly 25 years ago in my grandfather's jewelry shop in Kutch. Dinner table conversations always revolved around profit and losses. Well, in this kind of an environment, the question of starting a business was never why. It was a question of when. The fact that I, I had a father who was kind of somebody who went against the norm and challenged the normal way of living, he also was the first engineer in three generations of jewelers. You know, brought up in this environment, we as kids were always trying to reimagine tomorrow. We were trying to reimagine tomorrow, which was challenging the norm. That's when me and my brother started Equilibrium Energy. We wanted to reimagine a tomorrow which was not only good for the environment and the society at large, but also making profits. Because, uh, as Mr. Mariwala would also agree, that's what any good Gujarati boy should be doing. My first customer was a person called Mr. Samir Shah, a chemical plant owner in Ahmedabad. He put faith in us, gave, gave us our first project without even seeing a functional prototype. Since then, we've grown to work with nearly 300 large enterprises across India, Southeast Asia, and the Middle East. This also includes our very own Dadar station. We have 200 million data points coming onto our servers every day. 
that makes us one of the largest IoT platforms in this region. The fourth industrial revolution is here. And it is going to revolve around data and analytics to make machines smarter. In this changing world, we are trying to make technology which is made in India, but ready for the world. Looking into the future is a very exciting thing. And we are trying to give you the power to predict tomorrow's problems and solve them today. This is how we have reimagined tomorrow. And I invite all of you to join us in this exciting journey. Thank you.